yeah, was, our defensive structure's been holding up really well. Um, yeah, I think uh, the pressure we're putting on the ball, um, the way our forwards are defending, um, is really helping our backs, and our backs are setting up really well behind the ball. And yeah, I thought they were you know, the same old. The guys were really strong tonight back there for us. So yeah, it was, it was a great effort defensively. Were you worried? whether <coughs> last week might have sucked the life out of them or were you confident they would bounce? Uh, no, I was worried. I was worried. Um, and that's why um, we tried to review it um, more holistically and look at some of the positives we did last week because we jumped into the game well last week and tried to make sure our review was really balanced and then tried to move the players on pretty quickly um, to focus on Sydney. Um, sometimes those type of losses last week can linger around all week. Um, yeah, so we tried to shift the players' mindset onto Sydney and um, pretty early in the week and yeah, I thought our players um, really prepared well for the contest tonight. Ryan, sorry, you go. Um, Ryan and Cox, um, obviously Ryan has been a good player for some time, but Cox <coughs> continues to emerge in defence. Yeah, um, and he's starting to get some continuity playing down there. Um, I think you know, all pre-season he was fit and had a really strong pre-season. Um, and he just had some hiccups um, in the hub with his hip flexor and missed a bit of footy, came back in, missed a bit of footy. So I think the last three or four weeks he's been really strong, he's been building. thought tonight he played on a, on a, on a good player and um, yeah, played really well. He's strong in the contest. He um, shows really good composure with the ball um, and is able to make really good decisions. So, yeah, he's come along really nicely. And at the other end, Tavener just seems to be just so consistent at the moment. What did you make of his game? Tonight? Uh, through early, especially, he was outstanding. Uh, he just gives us such a strong contest and straightens us up. Um, yeah, it's no, it's no surprise. I said that to him in there just then. It's no surprise that you're good in the contest because I see you doing, doing it on the training track mm -hmm. 100 times a week. Um, and it's just he's such a good role model for our young forwards and, and all our forwards, really, just the work he puts into his craft. He's getting the benefit week in, week out. So, uh, he's been fantastic. With your, your tall defenders, what was your, your message to those guys when you, you started losing Hamling, Pierce, Logue? How did you how did you get these two guys to play at the level they're playing right now? I worried about what we can do rather than what we what we can can't do. I uh, worried about who we've got rather than who we haven't got. Um, and really made us made the whole team focus on our team defence because. Um, you know, if we force the opposition wide and force them long, we can handle um, any balls coming in. Um, it's when they're coming in 100 mile an hour um, to an open forward line that makes it more difficult. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, this gets back to what I said just then. Like, focus on what we can do, who we've got, rather than negatives. Um, I think we've been pretty good as a footy club doing that all year. And how confident are those guys now playing within that? that team defence that you're implementing? Well, I think they're building some really strong chemistry, especially our back six. Uh, they've played with each other, you know, probably pretty consistently for the last month now. And um, I think even with the ball, we're starting to see some um, some consistency and some composure and they're trusting each other a lot more. So, um, yeah, tonight was evident of that. David Mundy's form, Justin, he's 30, 35, I think. Is he playing his way to a contract for next year or do you decide that at the end of the year? No, we'll keep the dialogue open. I mean, Bally have had a chat to him. Um, yeah, and, you know, at the moment we, we're, all, we're all keen to push ahead with that. Um, we've left it to the end of the year on, on purpose because of his age and where he sits and, um, you know, he's oh, just really happy with, he, with his form and really wrapped with what he's teaching our younger players. Um, he's a calm head. Um, during the week and on game day. So, yeah, he's, he's a real benefit for us at the moment. Do you try and maintain a, a fierce focus on the next game or do you allow your players to still dream of the final eight? We all thought it was gone last week, but you're a game and a half out and it's there for you if you were good enough from now on in. Oh, it's, yeah. It's just another distraction in the finals talk. Um, you know, there's so many distractions in this season. We've just got to make sure our players prepare well each week. And at the end of the day, where we finish on the ladder will look after itself. I know it's a boring answer, but it's just the reality of it. Um, you know, we've had a, another good week on, on the track, another good week previewing a, a team that's in good form, and we executed tonight. So no, next week will be no different. We'll um, put our head into GWS, um, try and come up with a plan to, to beat them and hopefully execute and 
the ladder will look after itself at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. Henry looked to have a few almost moments tonight. <laughs> what, what did you make of him? I thought he was, yeah, and he'll, he'll get better with his finishing. We know he's got class and finishing skills. It's actually his, his, his one would so. Mm. Um, but I spoke to him then, said it was the speed of the game caught him out at times um, and surprised him. So um, he just needs to make sure that he trains um, for those moments so he can become a real opportunistic um, forward that we know he can be. I um, thought he had a you know, really solid first game and, you know, we haven't seen the finished product of Liam. That's still a couple of years away, so he's just got to make sure he improves on what he dished up tonight and keeps improving every week. Did you set another job for Caleb Sorong tonight? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, then him and Mundy shared it a, a few times because we wanted to get um, Dave's game time up a little bit, so we started him on him a couple of times. Uh, and we just thought you know, Parker's just a, one of the best inside mids in the comp and it's just another opportunity for Caleb to learn and grow as a footballer and get his opportunity to play to his strengths as well. Did you get out injury free? Yes, looks like we did. Lobby um, rolled his ankle in the third quarter, um, but he came back on and had an impact for us in the last, so he looks like he got through and um, Reese came back out again, so it looks positive. Did you... Um, is your view of the Stephen Hill contact with... Um, I think it was uh, Blakey just... Two guys going for the ball, unfortunate head-eye contact. Oh, it looked like that, yeah. I thought, um, you know, he he um, had a pretty good technique going for the footy. I think he actually won the footy. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that comes back.